Hi, I'm Cheryl and welcome to the Sewing Room channel. I'm going to demonstrate how to use vinyl in a bag that you can use for storing your sewing projects, things that you're working on. And I've got two different sizes that I've made here. I'm going to be demonstrating the larger size, but if you want this smaller one also, I've got measurements for that. And to get to all the measurements and cutting instructions, you need to go below your YouTube screen to the description section and expand the description section by clicking on the arrow and you'll see all of the measurements there. I want you to notice something, the main center here where you see these really cute little sewing theme fabrics. These fabrics are made by Michael Miller and you can usually find them in quilt fabric stores or you can go online and look up Michael Miller fabrics and you might be able to find them in other locations. I thought they were perfect for these little bags. Okay, let's get started. Cutting on vinyl can be a little tricky, but if you're just a little patient and move a little slow, you can get it cut correctly. Now, I like leaving my paper that comes with your vinyl. I place mine underneath. I tried it on top, didn't work for me so well. I place it underneath so that I can see the edge of the vinyl because it's very clear when you lay it on your surface it's hard to see it so the paper kind of helped me gonna cut the vinyl 13 and a half inches square so on my ruler I have a very large square ruler here I'm going to use my 13 and a half inch line right here and then over here on this side and I'm going to place them on this edge and this edge. So take your time lining it up, getting it down there in the right place. Now you'll notice your ruler sticks a little bit. I lifted mine up a little bit and placed it down on the lines. And then when you've got it all straight, you're just gonna go ahead and cut this side here and then cut this side. Then you're going to take it and take both edges, the paper and this, and turn it. And now I'm going to line up those 13 and a half inch lines again over here and here and make sure that it is square. And I'm, whoops, I got my ruler turned the wrong way. There we go. And now I'm going to cut, now that I have it lined up, and cut here and here. After you're done cutting, don't throw this paper away. Set it aside because you're gonna need it later on. You're going to need a fairly long zipper for the large bag that you're going to make and to make it at least a 20 to 22 inch zipper. This one's really long, much longer than I really need, but it's what I had available. Then you're going to take a strip of fabric that's the length of your zipper. But like I said, my zipper is really, really long, so I don't need a super long strip. And you're going to take the pretty side, the front of the fabric, and place it down across like this. And line it up with your edges of the zipper itself. And you can go ahead and use clips, wonder clips, to hold it on, or you could put straight pins going across this way, like this, it's whatever you have available. So if you don't have the wonder clips, I would pin like that. Then use your zipper foot and you're going to stitch from this edge about a quarter of an inch in this way. Take another strip of fabric and lay it on top of this face down, front side of the fabric, line it up along 
this edge of the zipper and then stitch a quarter inch all the way along. Now press where you've stitched along here, but don't put your iron on top of the plastic teeth. So you want to just keep it away from it as much as possible and you're going to press on both sides of the zipper. When you're stitching on vinyl, you don't want to use pins on the vinyl because those holes won't go away. So don't use any pins to attach the fabric to it. So I'm using something called, they're called Wonder Clips, but I'm sure there's other manufacturers out there. You can get these, I think I got these at walmart.com years ago. I'm sure Joanne sells them, Amazon, they're sold all over the place. So now we're gonna start stitching onto the vinyl. So we're gonna put a strip on two opposite sides. So take your strip, and I've cut my strips much longer than my vinyl, and then center it. And go ahead and use your Wonder Clips to attach the fabric to the vinyl. After you've got both sides clipped on, then you're gonna to go to your sewing machine and stitch a one quarter inch seam on both sides. But before you start stitching, you're gonna to wanna to take either that leftover tissue paper and place it underneath because when you go to your sewing machine, you're gonna find the vinyl will stick to the surface area around the needle. So you can either use that tissue paper, if you threw it away or it got destroyed somehow, you can use other paper. I buy this paper at Home Depot. I use it for so many sewing projects. So again, stitch both sides down one quarter inch and make sure you have that paper underneath your vinyl. If the paper was stitched into your seam, that's not a problem because it easily tears off. You just pull it off like this, wherever it is attached. And if I think I have a little piece on this side, nope, I got it all off. Then you want to take your strips, open them out to the side, and you're going to press but try not to get your iron on the vinyl. Trim the excess fabric off to where it's even with the edge of your vinyl. So place your ruler down on the edge of your vinyl. And like I said, it is hard to see, so really take your time. And go ahead and trim it off at both ends. And then go to the other side and do the same thing. Take one more strip and place it on this edge here. You're not gonna stitch anything up here just yet. So take just one more and go ahead and use your clips. Clip it along the edge here. Stitch one quarter inch seam. Press that seam and trim your ends. This next step is really, really important. I can't stress it enough. If you don't do it, you've ruined your bag. So, unzip the zipper till about the middle right here. You wanna get the zipper pull out of your way. Then bring these edges close together. Take a ruler and place it on this edge of the uh, fabric strip right here. And you're going to cut each end of the zipper off. Now, you can use scissors, and I've marked these scissors zipper because I don't want to ruin my good, zip, my good scissors. You could use a rotary cutter, but this is a pretty old blade, so I don't mind using it because you're gonna go right over that zipper, and if you're using a new blade, you could ruin your blade, but this is an old one, so I don't really care. So go ahead and trim this off and then go to your other end and trim that side off. Take your fabric that's going to be your lining, that's what's going to show through to the vinyl, and you want to cut it the same size as your front piece. So I'm just going to lay my fabric on top, 
this way I can get an exact size and go ahead and you're going to trim around all four edges. After you've cut this fabric, then you want to take some cotton batting and cut it the same size as your lining fabric. Then place it on top of your fabric for the outside of the bag and then cut these edges one inch wider on all four sides. Then take and place pins, scatter pins, all over the top. And then you're going to do some quilting stitches. And the easiest type of quilting stitch to do is just straight lines going up and down and side to side. So you would go over every two to three inches and do that. Then turn your fabric and repeat. You can also do it on a diagonal like this. And then my favorite stitch to do is a serpentine stitch, which most computerized sewing machines have that on there. So most of you with a computerized sewing machine should be able to do this stitch. Also, I highly recommend you use a walking presser foot. And you can get these at a sewing machine store where you purchased your sewing machine, or you can go to an online store. I like to go to sewing machine parts online, and you can often get parts on Amazon.com. So once you have all your layers pinned together, then go ahead and do your quilting stitches. Now place your top section on top here, on top of the lining piece. Line up all your edges and then place some pins around the edges. Go around all four sides and then stitch close to the edge all the way around on all four sides. Then go to your ironing board and on your two opposite ends, you're gonna fold it over to where the edge of your fabric just barely touches the side of your top fabric and press with your iron. Fold it over again and then press. And again, you're doing it on the two opposite ends first. Then stitch close to this folded edge all the way across and do the same thing at the other end. Now take your last two edges and fold them over just like you did on uh, these two sides right here and then stitch them down close to the edge all the way across. Well, this is what it looks like when it's all done. Here's the zipper area up here. You can insert whatever project you're working on and then you're done. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video tutorial. Make sure that you follow me on Instagram and check out my Facebook page. And if you're interested in beginner's sewing projects, there will be links listed below your YouTube screen. And don't forget, the measurements for both size bags are also listed down below your YouTube screen. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time and happy sewing. If you like the Sewing Room channel, one of the best ways to show your support is to subscribe by clicking on that red subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up. And don't forget to click on share to share this video with your friends. And make sure you click on the bell so you receive notifications for all my new videos. I'm Cheryl. This is Manny and this is Scotty. See you next time.